Jalen Ramsey was interviewed recently by GQ magazine, and he went off on all NFL quarterbacks among the highlights. It was tough to find. Ramsey calls Josh Allen trash. He calls Matt Ryan overrated. He says Big Ben is decent at best, and Joe Flacco sucks. He did have positive things to say about quarterbacks, including Deshaun Watson and Carson Wentz. There was a lot of gems in that interview. We're going to have to get into some of them tomorrow. But, guys, do you have a problem, Max, with some of those jabs that you just heard? No, I like the fact that a guy is speaking his mind. I don't agree with him about all of it, but he makes the point about Matt Ryan. Really, is it Shanahan or Matt Ryan? Look at Jimmy G now, and look what happened when Shanahan left. Um, if he thinks that Josh Allen's trash, I mean, there have not been good reports coming out you know, in, uh, in preseason so far about Josh Allen, there were worries about him. Uh, and, 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 you know, Ben Roethlisberger, he's not going by the name. He's going by what he sees. Roethlisberger's an older quarterback now. I disagree well, he beat about... he twice last year. Yeah, I disagree about he Mariota. He thought, he thought Mariota's good. I didn't see that last year, but he has his own opinion about things. He has his own way of looking at things. He's being honest, and, and you know, he's a media darling. In fact, even though he's going to war with the media right now, he's a media darling because he's quotable, and he's good. Well, that's the only thing that wouldn't be wise. He doesn't need to go uh, at war with the media because then they'll take it off the football field, and all of a sudden you'll make news for reasons you might not want to make news. So he needs to be careful about that. But I love the guy personally. Um, he hasn't missed a game in two years in the NFL. He shows up. They have the best defense and the best secondary in football. They are elite. He's not just talking the talk. He's walking the walk. And I love the attention that he's brought to Matt Ryan. And here's why. Matt Ryan has been in the league for, for 10 years now. Matt Ryan is one of the highest paid players in the league. There's a lot of noise that has been made about Matt Ryan, who's also a former league MVP. There is no Super Bowl championship to show for it. We talk about all of these other quarterbacks that we want to put on the hot seat. We never put him on there. It's time for Matt Ryan to be on there because he's good enough, in my opinion, and he certainly gets paid enough where there is a level of accountability that needs to be thrusted upon his shoulders because if it were anybody else making the money that Matt Ryan makes playing that position, we would be looking for them for more. But that's why overrated is okay because I've always viewed Matt Ryan as a B-plus who's mistaken for an A. Mm -hmm. But a B-plus is a good quarterback, just not I, a great one. I want to focus on the guys that he actually liked, though, because I find that interesting. So the two he highlighted is Deshaun Watson and Carson Wentz. Does that all surprise you? Of all the quarterbacks, he didn't the say young your guys. boy Aaron Rodgers. Well, they're, 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 they're electric uh, in their own right. Carson Wentz was an MVP candidate, leading MVP candidate before he went down last year. And we also saw the show that Deshaun Watson put on in Houston, and that was fresh off of winning a national championship against Alabama, throwing for 500 yards the year before that when they lost, and com basically combining to throw for over 800 yards against Alabama's defense before we ever saw him in Houston last I think, year. Yeah. So I think especially He's taking into consideration age going forward. If yeah. you're talking about right now and Jalen Ramsey thinks either one of those guys is in is nearly as good as Aaron Rodgers, and I understand Carson Wentz was the MVP of the league at the yeah. time he got hurt last year, and Rodgers plays in the league, still, any given game, you could swap out Wentz for Rodgers. You do that 100 times out of a I just think it's interesting he highlighted those two, and I think there's high hopes, especially for Houston. Uh, but, guys, I'm more curious about the players, like the rest of the league. How do you think they're going to receive this? <laughs> well, they're gonna, uh, talking well, trash. Well, I, I will know this. Go pick on Jalen Ramsey and see a, what happens. If I'm a quarterback, well, I will say this. If I'm a quarterback, yeah. particularly one he talked about, like oh, man. I definitely want to go he at him. He wants you to. I know he does. I know he does. But I would want the challenge of going at him as opposed to avoiding him. But did he if I'm a quarterback. make his life more difficult by doing this? Well, he wants to. No, he made it. Does he think he made his life great. better because he wants you to throw to his guy? He wants you to. He throw. believes in his and ability. By the way, by the way, at that position, we want that attitude. Right. If, if you're you a defensive up, player and a ball hawk attitude. and all that stuff, that's not the same thing as being an offense. If you're a wide out and you talk that stuff, you're going to take hits. Molly, he doesn't want to be on the field and every Sunday and nobody's throwing his way. I know. I'm he just wants thinking them about to throw his team, his coaching staff, all. Well, Tom Coughlin don't like it. Tom Coughlin don't like it. We know Coughlin. No, he's there. He's baiting people. Coughlin's there. Right. Coughlin don't like it. I He's mean, baiting people. But he'll back it, up. Real, he'll I mean, back it up more often listen, than not. That team, we all know, that team, if the quarterback can, can get it together, yeah. that team's going to win a Super they, they look, They're one of the Super Bowl favorites because of that defense. But then they're not winning because Big Bortles ain't getting it together. So enough right, well, of that.